there are four ways by which you can run your macro. The first method is the shortcut method, Alt plus F8 key. I am pressing Alt plus F8 key from my keyboard and you will see that a pop-up window has appeared. This pop-up window contains all the macros uh, which you have designed or you have coded in your file. You can run your macro from here, you can edit your macro from here, you can delete your macro from here, you can provide a shortcut key to run your macro from this pop-up window. The second method is the macro button. So for this, go to the developer tab, click on this button macro and then you will be landed again on the pop-up window from where you can run, you can edit, you can delete your macros and you can provide your shortcut keys to your macros. I'm canceling it out. The third method is the visual basics editor. So on the same tab developer, click on this button visual basics and you will be landed on the page wherein you have written, you have coded your macro. Put your cursor here, put your blinking line here at the uh, very first of the macro before sub and then from the top click on this green arrow button which tells the macro that you have to execute. Then I'm clicking this button and see this macro has been executed, something has happened at the backend. If you want to run another macro you can do so. I'm running this macro so i'm keeping my cursor at the front of sub and then i'm pressing on this execution button from the top and see what happened everything has been cleared out so this macro tells me that you have to clear all the cells in this worksheet now i'm closing this window the last method is the button now I'll tell you how to insert a button and how you can associate your macro with the button. This is my favorite part. I have uh, an option to insert a button in the developer tab. You need to go to the insert uh, basket, click on this and click on this button. As soon as you click on this button, you will see that the cursor of your mouse has been changed to a plus sign. From here, you have to draw your button. Just click on your mouse and draw your button of any size you want. As soon as you leave your finger from the mouse, it will ask you which macro you want to assign to this button. I'm assigning format cells macro to this button and clicking on OK. You can change the name of your button. Format cells. And then when you click on this button, something will happen in this window. I'm clicking on this button and see the font, the color, the size has been changed. I'm inserting one more button and I'm this time choosing clear macro from the list, clicking on OK. I'm changing the name of my button to clear all cells. When I click on this button, this macro will execute and it will clear out all the cells in this work file.